Are you drinking from tea bags and want to switch over to loose leaf tea? Think about getting a basket tea brewer. What's up everybody, Eric here from teaandtobacco.com and today I'm going to be going over basket tea brewers which can be helpful for those switching over from tea bags for making one cup at a time. So let's take a look. All right, so a basket tea brewer is really one of the most simple brewers out there for switching over to loose leaf tea if you're used to using tea bags. Um, if you've seen those like balls and all the funny little animals that you stick in your cup or the guy who looks like he's waiting in a, a hot tub or anything, else, forget those because the problem with those is they're too restrictive. So what I have here is I have a couple different uh, examples of basket brewers. So this one happens to come with the cup. It's ceramic, so it, it fits in the cup like so and has a nice lid. So this is actually an all-in-one cup. So you get the basket brewer, you get the lid, and when you're done brewing, you just simply put the lid down and you put the basket right inside and keep it from spilling all over the place. And then over here, I have just a simple stainless steel um, basket, which also comes with a nice lid, and then you can just use your regular old coffee mugs, and uh, when you're done brewing, same thing, just take the lid and you can set it down and it won't uh, get water all over your desk or whatever. So these are actually nice things to use if you're starting to switch over to loose leaf teas. So as I said, forget the balls and all those little things. You want a basket to take up as much room as possible in your cup because you want to give room for the tea to expand. If you're using those tea balls, they do not allow enough expansion. Um, and I'll show you that in a second when I brew up this tea. So I, what I have here is I have uh, four grams of a Wu Yi Oolong, and I'm gonna brew this in my cup. This is a rough, I measured it, it's 400 mils, uh, 400 milliliter cup, so I'm using four grams, so a gram per 100 mil, because I'm going to brew this Western style. So <clears throat> the difference between Western style and Gung Fu style is Western style is pretty much what you're used to with like tea bags and whatnot. You put it in there, you let it steep for a minute or two minutes or whatever, and then you throw the tea bag away. So it's kind of a one-time uh, steeping. So you're using a little bit of leaf with a lot of water. And then the Gung Fu style, you're using a lot of leaf with a little bit of water, but you're doing multiple infusions over time. So <clears throat> for Western style, I, use, I like to start out at uh, one gram per 100 milliliters. Um, which is why I'm using four grams for this 400 milliliter cup. Uh, this cup is uh, 240 mil, so I'd use about two and a half, just under two and a half grams for this particular cup. Um, if you wanna check out this tea basket, this tea basket is really nice stainless steel one. It looks like it was made out of more of a sheet stainless steel and then small holes were drilled into it instead of using like a stainless steel mesh. So. It's actually nice and fine, so I really like this, and it's a lot more durable than any of the little mesh filters, and it's cheap. It's like, uh, you know, eight or nine bucks for a set of two, so that's really nice. So, all right, I will put this in here and um, get brewing this up, and I'll show you about the expansion that I was talking about. So as you can see, this is the dry leaf right here, and it does not take up uh, much space, but once we brew this up, it's going to take up a lot of space, and I'll show you that afterwards. So now that I have my tea in the basket, I'm ready to go, I'm going to fill it up with water, um, but I'm actually just going to fill it up just about halfway, uh, because what I'm doing is I'm gonna rinse these leaves off. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Usually I'm just in, uh, in the kitchen, so I can just pour it down the sink, but it's nice to rinse off any of the dust and whatnot, and it helps save some of those um, bitter notes from coming out. So just giving it a nice quick rinse, just pouring water over it to rinse off the dust. And then after that, I will fill up the cup like normal, like you normally would with like a tea bag or whatever, and then I will just let it steep where it stands. So now this is brewed for a few minutes and uh, we're ready to take it out and we can drink after that. So just let it, uh, drain out a little bit so you don't get it everywhere. Again, you can just take this cap, set it down, and then set the basket right inside the cap. So there you go, that's all it takes to uh, brew with one of these baskets. And uh, let me show you the uh, leaves and how much they've expanded here. So as you can see, they've expanded quite a bit, but especially when 
they're in the water, they can freely move around. And that's really what you want to get a nice, uh, thorough brewing of whole leaf tea. So that's really all it takes to brew loose leaf tea. If you're switching over from tea bags, and I highly suggest that you do, I mean, this is a very simple tool to use. And uh, one of the things I like about it, when I used to work in an office, I would just have two coffee cups and I would just you know, take the uh, basket out and hang it in an empty coffee cup. That's way, that way anything could drip down. And then, you know, once I'm done drinking this cup, you could probably brew, at least this particular oolong, could definitely get brewed once again um, in the same cup. So, And uh, easy cleanup, you just dump them out uh, into the trash, rinse it out in the sink, and you are good to go. So it's really not a huge hassle, and uh, it's definitely not something that should put you off from using loose leaf tea over tea bags, because you're definitely gonna get a much higher quality tea uh, using loose leaf over the shredded stuff that's in tea bags, even the whole leaf stuff that's in tea bags. The tea bags are just way too restrictive and hold everything together, and you don't get a nice, complete brewing or steeping out of those leaves. So uh, think about picking these up. Uh, I have some descript I have some links down in the description below that you can check out. Like I said, these are pretty cheap. You can get two of them for you know, like two pack for like nine or ten bucks, something like that. Um, so those are there for you. Uh, Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe, comment questions down below, feedback down below. Uh, I've also opened up a Discord server. The uh, link is in the description and I will see you next time on Tea and Tobacco. See you guys.